Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Tyler, I don't know about you, but with all the vaccine news coming out and the warm temperatures expected this week, it's hard not to start planning a summer vacation. Yeah, did you stick that story in there? For I did. Yeah, you did? I well, I, I found it and I was like, you know, summer's on my mind. Wow. What can I say? Positive warm <laughs> thoughts. Yeah, the forecast looks pretty good as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, especially. We were saying earlier we've only hit 44 so far, but we should be 54 at least. And it's two days, Wednesday and Thursday. So this 19 that we have in Plattsburgh, <laughs> we'll say uh, goodbye to that here before long. Now it is still cold tomorrow. We have one more day like it was today. It's 11 at the base of Whiteface, 10 in Lake Placid. So just looking at this map could uh, easily be something you see in early January. So we're struggling here a little bit the first weekend of March, but usually happens that way. Spring takes a little while to get going. It will be a little brighter tomorrow, so I think even though it's cold, it feels overall a little better for Sunday. And then the mild burst of air is really midweek before it starts to cool off a little bit into next weekend. So we don't have any snow on radar right now. Still some lighter lake effect bands there south of Albany, but my focus is on this area here where you see nothing except the map. That's clear sky, high pressure. That moves in Monday and it's with us through the mid part of the week. So here are the clouds still tomorrow morning. Uh, so not a blue sky again on Sunday, but I think by the afternoon hours, there's more of a blend of sun and clouds more than there was today. And then for Monday, it's really bright in the morning through lunchtime. There's just some clouds that come in late and probably a band of some snow showers in the evening on Monday, Monday night and early Tuesday. Not a big deal. Just some snowflakes that come through could be an inch in a few towns. And then Tuesday clouds giving way to sun. So uh, we'll get there, but tomorrow morning, single digits, two in Saranac Lake, five in Newport, up into the low and mid 20s for high temperatures, 23 in Morrisville, 25 Burlington. And as I mentioned, should be a bigger chunk of the sky with blue as opposed to clouds than it, ha than it was today. So that's the little improvement for Sunday. Couple of 30s too in southern spots. So the trend looks like a staircase in the temperatures Tuesday. 43, but then 50s, a pair of days there, Wednesday and Thursday in the 50s. So here's the five day forecast with no major storm all the way through Wednesday. Those uh, warmer days there, I think Wednesday is dry and probably most of Thursday. There could be a rain shower that sneaks in, but I'm optimistic that Thursday is mostly dry as well. And then Thursday night and Friday morning would be when there's rain showers with a cold front. Not a ton of rain, but with all that melting there a couple of days in a row, we might have to watch for some small flooding, maybe some ice comes loose in a few rivers or something like that. And then next weekend we will spring forward an hour. Liz?